When a company sets out to create a new product, they don't usually reinvent the wheel. In almost any industry, there's someone who has already mastered certain techniques, and it's common sense to use some of those proven methods. But when a company goes beyond that, when it starts to replicate almost every detail, that's crossing a line. It's not just unoriginal, it's ethically questionable. And this is exactly what's happening with China and SpaceX. China has been closely following in SpaceX's footsteps for a while now, copying many of the approaches that have made SpaceX successful. But their latest rocket design has truly caught people's attention due to its near-identical resemblance to SpaceX's Starship. In today's video, we're diving into the specifics of China's copycat rocket, the similarities to Starship, and how Musk responded to it. But before we jump into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Starship, SpaceX, and other groundbreaking achievements in the space industry. China was once considered to have one of the least developed space programs globally. They lagged behind the U.S. and Russia, who led the race in major milestones like putting a man on the moon and maintaining the International Space Station, ISS. But this all started to change around the early 2000s when China began investing heavily in its space ambitions. Driven by national pride and the desire to establish itself as a global power in space, China set ambitious goals to close the gap with the U.S. and Russia. Over time, their advancements began to reshape the landscape, and their rapid progress started to pose a real threat to U.S. dominance in space. China's ambitions grew rapidly, and it wasn't long before they were aiming to send astronauts to the moon and beyond. However, despite their progress, they faced a unique challenge. They were excluded from participating in the International Space Station. This decision was not just technical or financial, but also deeply political. Remember, even Russia, despite its significant tensions with the U.S. and other Western countries over the Ukraine conflict, is still a partner in the space station. Yet, China has been excluded for years, largely due to concerns about sharing advanced technology and national security issues. This exclusion made it clear to China that they were on their own in pursuing their space goals. Rather than giving up, China doubled down on its efforts and responded by building its own space station. In 2021, they launched the Tiangong Space Station. The station, which was completed ahead of schedule, has allowed China to carry out experiments and long-term missions independently. In the last decade, China has become one of the biggest players in the space sector. They launched missions to the far side of the moon, placed their own rover on Mars, and built a sustainable program that can conduct complex missions autonomously. While they achieved much of this through intense dedication, their rapid progress was also made possible by copying the technology and methods used by industry leaders like SpaceX. When China decided to send astronauts to the moon, they needed a powerful rocket that could support these long-distance missions. This led to their early concept of a heavy-lift rocket, which initially resembled NASA's Space Launch System, an expendable rocket with multiple stages and solid boosters on the sides. This configuration is typical for rockets that don't plan for reusability. However, as they observed SpaceX's milestones in reusability, such as recovering the Falcon 9 boosters, China realized the importance of reusability. This led them to rethink their approach, and soon they began to incorporate reusable technology into their designs. Over time, their designs started to look increasingly like SpaceX's rockets. This trend resulted in their latest heavy-lift rocket, the Long March 9, which bears a striking resemblance to SpaceX's Starship in terms of size, shape, and functionality. The Long March 9 is designed as a two-stage rocket with reusability in both stages. This structure is nearly identical to SpaceX's Starship system, which includes the Super Heavy booster as the first stage and the Starship spacecraft as the second stage. In the Starship system, the Super Heavy booster provides the main thrust to take the rocket to the edge of space and then returns to Earth for reuse, while the Starship spacecraft handles missions in orbit or beyond. Similarly, the Long March 9 also has a powerful first stage designed for reusability, as well as a second stage that doubles as a spacecraft, allowing it to support extended missions with the potential for reuse. The engines of the Long March 9 also show a close resemblance to SpaceX's Raptor engines. 
The Long March 9's first stage will use 30 engines, which, like SpaceX's Raptors, are methane-fueled and rely on a full-flow stage combustion cycle. This engine choice is a modern advancement in rocket technology, largely popularized by SpaceX's use of methane as a fuel, which provides cleaner burns and extends engine life for multiple uses. These engines each generate around 200 tons of thrust, compared to the 280 tons of thrust produced by SpaceX's Raptor engines. Though slightly less powerful, the use of these engines in the Long March 9 creates a total thrust that's comparable to SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster, which uses 33 Raptor engines. In addition to engine technology, the structural design of both rockets is similar. Both the Long March 9 and Starship have a cylindrical, streamlined shape with an exterior built from stainless steel. For Starship, stainless steel is both durable and cost-effective, particularly for withstanding the high heat and pressure experienced during atmospheric re-entry. China appears to have followed this same approach with the Long March 9, likely due to similar considerations around strength, durability, and affordability. The aerodynamic features on both rockets' second stages also show similarities. SpaceX's Starship has large fins or flaps on its second stage to control the vehicle's descent and landing. These fins enable Starship to perform what's known as a belly flop maneuver, which allows the vehicle to descend horizontally through the atmosphere before reorienting vertically to land. This approach improves landing control and precision, and it's a major part of Starship's reusability design. The Long March 9 second stage includes similar flaps positioned in comparable locations, suggesting that China may be looking to use a similar descent and landing technique for its upper stage. Looking at the missions these rockets are designed for, China's Long March 9 and SpaceX's Starship share similar goals. China aims to launch the Long March 9 for the first time in 2033, targeting lunar exploration, space station support, and eventually Mars missions. SpaceX has similar plans for Starship, intending to use it for lunar missions as part of NASA's Artemis program and aiming for eventual Mars missions. Now, you might expect Musk to be upset about China's rocket looking so similar to SpaceX's Starship, but his reaction was actually quite the opposite. When asked about it, Musk congratulated China and said, Interesting. Well, I think China's smart to aim for a fully reusable rocket. Other countries should also do so. It's a fundamental breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary. Musk has always been vocal about wanting others to use SpaceX's technology to advance space exploration overall. He's even gone as far as publicly opposing the idea of patenting SpaceX's designs, explaining that patents can actually hold back progress because they're often used to block others from using certain ideas or methods. Musk has stated that if SpaceX patented its designs, it would likely limit how far and fast space technology could advance. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.